Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to use the Account Manager module on Socinator using your LinkedIn account. Here you can see the different accounts from different social networks and their respective account details. Let's start by clicking the Add Account button. Let's select LinkedIn as our social network. For a group name, it's not really required. If you want to group accounts together on Socinator, then enter a group name here. Then type your LinkedIn email address followed by your LinkedIn password. Click the I button over here to reveal the password. Then check this box to enter the proxy address, port, username, and password. When you're done, click the Save button and it successfully added our LinkedIn account. The status is not checked, but now it's a success. So you can see the social network icon or logo, the email address, the status, the group name. It is ungrouped because we did not specify a group name. The proxy address is the local IP address and the friendship count. In this case, your LinkedIn connections. Let's right click on our LinkedIn account. There are several options here. Let's start with details. So here you can see the social network LinkedIn. The group name is ungrouped. If you want to specify a group name, then type it here. Then your account name is your LinkedIn name. Then your email address, your password, your website, if there is. Then the status is success. Last synchronized at not updated yet, so we will update that later. Then check Advanced Settings to configure the following. When you're done, click Save. So the status is trying to log in and now it's a success. Click Cancel. The next one is Delete Profile. Let's skip this for now and we'll go back to it later. The third one is Browser Login. So it will open the Socinator browser where you can browse using your LinkedIn account. Click the check IP button over here to reveal your IP address. Then the login button over here will allow you to log in using your LinkedIn account on Socinator. You can use your LinkedIn account without necessarily using the LinkedIn app or an internet browser. Simply open Socinator and then you can browse using your LinkedIn account. Let's close it. Now let's go to the fourth one, go to tools. This will bring us to the Accounts Activity tab where you can configure the different LinkedIn automation tools. We have separate tutorials for each, so make sure to check them out. Next, we have Check Account Status. So if you click this one, it will check the account status in real time. The next one is Update Friendship. It will update the friendship count in real time. Finally, we have Copy Account ID. If you need to copy and paste your account ID somewhere, then click it and the account ID was successfully copied. Now let's go back to the second one, delete profile. This will not delete the profile itself. It will only remove it from the Socinator app. So when you're sure, click delete anyways and it's gone. Now let me show you another option in adding accounts to Socinator. This time, you can add several accounts at the same time. Simply use the Import Multiple Accounts button over here. But before clicking, if you hover on this button, you can see the format. So first, enter a random group name if you want to group accounts together on Socinator. Colin, the social network, in this case LinkedIn, Colin, then the email address, Colin, then the password. Let's click File. Then save it as import multiple.txt. Click save. So as you can see, only one account per line. We can also import one account only. So let's remove the second one. Then let's save it as another file. Let's say import single.txt. Click save. We can also type the account details on a spreadsheet. No need to separate each account detail with a colon because they are already divided into four columns. So let's click File and save it as 
a CSV file. Let's select CSV over here. Then let's name it import multiple.csv. Click save. So let's now click the import multiple accounts button. Select the right file, import multiple, then click open. So as you can see, it successfully imported two accounts at the same time. And they are grouped together under the group name multiple. Let's now go to the select button over here. If we click all accounts, then all accounts will be selected. So let's deselect all, and all of them are deselected. If we click working accounts, then it checked everything because all of them are working. So let's deselect again. If we check not working accounts, it did not check anything because all of them are working. If we choose not checked accounts, it did not check anything as well because all of them have been checked. And finally, we can select accounts by groups. If you group accounts together, then it will make it easier to select them. So if we check ungrouped, for example, it only selected the ungrouped ones. And if we check multiple, then it selected those that are grouped under multiple. The next button is update. So by clicking this one, we can update all details. But first, it will alert us to select an account first. So let's select those that are grouped under multiple. Then click update, then update all details. So it successfully updated the account details in real time. Next, we have check account status. And it will also check the status in real time. Next, we have stop process. If there are processes run by these accounts, then Socinator will stop them. Same goes with stop all activity. If Socinator is running activities using these accounts, then they will be stopped as well. Finally, you can update auto verify credential if you want. The next one is export. With this, you can export the selected accounts. Select where you want to export. Let's say the desktop, for example. Then click select folder. The selected accounts were successfully exported. Click OK. Next, we have delete. So if you have several accounts to delete, then you can select them together. And when you're ready, click delete anyways, and they're gone. As stated earlier, you can also import one account only using the import multiple accounts button. Let's select import single. Click open. And it successfully added one account only. Finally, the info button over here will tell us more about the accounts manager module. So the module can add or delete single account. You can also import or export multiple accounts. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.